What's up, Wizards? It's Dev from the place, SBMTG. We'd like to magic all the things. I felt like getting a little bit more gameplay in for you today because I just cannot leave this Mardu Frenzy deck alone, everybody. I cannot do it. We don't have much longer to play it. It's going to get hit by rotation, but there is a silver lining, a light at the end of the tunnel here because every single non-land in the deck survives rotation, you see. It wasn't like that like a week ago when I first started building the deck, but every single non-land actually does not get hit by autumn rotation, but it's the lands we gotta worry about. The Isolated Chapel, Dragon Skull Summit, uh, Clifftop Retreat. There's only two of each in the deck right now, but that's actually gonna be a huge loss, and hopefully we get something to replace these lands. It looks uh, speculatively like uh, maybe Grove of the Burn Willows is gonna be in this set, so maybe we'll get some other non-land goodies. We'll have to wait and see about that. But anyway, the basic philosophy behind this deck is just to play a bunch of one drops uh, with Experimental Frenzy. I mean, you play them in the early game too, but then you play Experimental Frenzy acts as kind of a card advantage tool. But instead of like the mono red decks where they just play a bunch of burn spells and small creatures, I mean, we're just going to restrict that to small creatures and play nothing but those. We got like 20 of them like <laughs> Banehound, Gutter Bones, Knight of the Ebon Legion, Vampire of the Dire Moon, all really, really good one drops. And also Footlight Fiend right here, which goes really well with the Judith in the deck. One of the only other red cards besides Experimental Frenzy, but the whole reason the deck is Mardu, and the whole reason I wanted to build the deck in the first place, is Corpse Knight. I'll throw in Cruel Celebrant, too. Got a lot of creatures that are going to die. So, we're kind of playing a Judith Cruel Celebrant thing here, but it's not really a sacrifice deck. We're just trying to run our creatures into combat, get as much incidental damage as we can from our creatures dying, Cruel Celebrant triggers, Judith triggers, all that stuff. But there's also Corpse Knight triggers when our creatures come into play. So, if we have a Corpse Knight and an Experimental Frenzy out, then we can just start playing one drops like crazy and dealing damage that way without even having to get in for attacks. So this is a really cool deck. We're just going to come at them ruthlessly, super aggressive, no actual removal in the deck. Judith and Footlight Fiend can both remove stuff technically, but uh, they're not super good at it. But every now and again, they will do that. But for the most part, we're just trying to play um, creatures on top of creatures on top of creatures and overwhelm the opponent and sometimes not even have to kill them on attacks. You know, we can just let a bunch of them come in, and if they get blocked, their opponent dies. If they don't get blocked, our opponent dies. <laughs> it's, one of, it's one of those decks, but it's just got a million different ways to add up tertiary damage. So let's go into the games and give this thing a shot. This is a fun one, and I've really been itching to play this one on camera. All right, we got one, y'all. We're up against Rifle Sting for this one. That's a name. And it looks like we can actually work with this hand. We go first, all that. So let's give it a shot. See if we can get a red source for this Judith here. Go ahead. And pay my two life for this gutter bones. Say go rifle sting with a hyphen. We do on tap temple garden. And we draw vampire of the dire moon. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is just corpse knight. Well, let's get an attacks first. Let's do that. Or tap down, it doesn't really matter. Let's play magic the way we're supposed to. Here's a corpse knight. Say go. Things are looking pretty good here. We at least get Judith, or not, excuse me, um, Foot Like Fiend Vampire next turn. So that's two Corpse Knight triggers. That's not bad. Yeah, we didn't get, okay, that's actually good. We didn't get the Red Source, which kind of sucks, but we can go. Let's go ahead and do this before we attack to make sure we get the damage. Our corpse Knight doesn't die. Got a Liza Tep Reaver. And a Footlight Fiend. Alright. Opponent at 11 before they drop their third land. That's where. That's exactly how we want to start a game. So let's hope we get the Judith uh, next turn and we can just like finish it off here. Psychic Corrosion. Oh, we're playing against Mill. Okay, so they're basically done, it looks like. We'll just get in here. Opponent at two. Opponent should be at one after we drop this vampire, the Dire Moon. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, we got the red source, so... Let's go ahead and pay our life. It's not like it matters in this mill matchup. We'll play our Judith. It's a good thing it didn't get absorbed right there. Ah, zero. <laughs> well, Corpse Knight technically won us that game, <laughs> if you want to look at it that way. All right, we got one here against Miles Higher, a great name. He's Miles Higher than you. Although, I'm not sure you know who you're talking to, buddy. <laughs> might, might could take that title on occasion. But anyway, 
We're looking like we're, we're starting with a good hand here. I don't like that they go first, but we got a third land. We can hit this Judith. The only problem is it's going to take a little damage to get there, but that's all right. No pain, no gain. Come on, miles higher. Take me to the club. Hit me with that first land. Make it spicy. Come on with that mess. That hot mess. I know you've got some fire in your hand. We're going to die on this turn, everybody. It's happening. Wait for it. All right, they've decided to mulligan. <laughs> and they lead on stomping ground. Tapped. So we're going to go pay two. Woofy. Get in. 19 up. Like magic. I mean, we're literally playing magic. Alright, rootbound crag. Here comes a trailblazer. It's that one, y'all. It's the real one. Alright, so. We'll pay two for the sacred foundry so we can corpse knight. Say go. Island. So it's that, that deck. <laughs> Triumph the Corpse Knight. Get in for two, I imagine. <laughs> no. Okay, well. I guess you can do that too. Alright, so. Huh, I'm actually going to play this tapped, I believe. Do I need a Vampire of the Dire Moon that badly this turn? Yeah, I'll pay it. I'll pay the two life. For. Well, I can't. What I can do is Judith. And get in. It's the best thing to do, I think, right now. They really want to keep that Trailblazer out. Stormkin going to come in at 3 or 4 3 at us. Fourteen. All right. So now we can kind of go crazy if we want to. Let's see here. Dire Moon. Footlight. Get in. Block him with P Druid. P Diddy. Hit them for one. Say go. Okay. Sixteen up. And here comes a Vine Mare. I didn't uh, expect that. Although, I have, this has been showing up in the Elemental decks lately. Bop. It's really good against us, I shouldn't have to tell you. Hmm. So we're going to go down to four next turn, at least. Hmm. Reaver. Foundry tapped. And yeah. Come on. He didn't block with Fine Mare. I guess maybe. Well, yeah. It's not like I can target it with anything. <laughs> One card in their hand, but they don't really need more than that to win the game at this point. Hit us for nine, like we thought. We draw land. That's not great. A Corpse Knight would have been really sweet if it hadn't have gotten the tr Chandra's Triumph towards the beginning of the game. That would have been really nice. Look at this board, y'all. <laughs> Let's just have everybody clap their hands. You can just take it all and still win the game. It's fine. Why? <laughs> I guess they're playing super safe. There's nothing wrong with that. Let me tell them it was a good game. Play this Blood Crypt and say go. Hey, 
And now they good game us. We will also... Well, I can't good game them because I have no no responses. <laughs> so it was a good game, though, actually. It came down to the wire. All right, we got one here against That is a Sloth, and it's not the best-looking opening hand, but we do have three cards we can play. I usually wouldn't do this, but I'm going to go for it here. But again, it's not... It's not looking amazing. Probably would have been rewarded for mulliganing that, but I'm going to try it here. They're still having a tough time deciding if they want to stay with theirs. All right. And they look about ready to go. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. All right, so... Hello, they say. Let's pay two life. Say hello to them. And, uh... Play the Scudder Bones. And we get another Black Sword, so we can play two creatures next turn. That's not bad. But we gotta draw the land, or it's gonna, we're gonna be in trouble. So much trouble. Alright, leading on Swamp, Knight of the Ebon Legion. I'm, that's a nice card. Alright, we did get another Black Sword. Let's pay two more life. Knight. Vampire. See if they want to trade. I bet they don't. They don't. All right. Come on, land. <laughs> Next turn. That'll feel good. Enforcer. That's a good card. We're just playing against like a mono black aggro because that would be really cool. If you want to trade that knight, I will for the vampire. Is that what they're thinking about? I wouldn't do it. <laughs> or are they just going to like hourglass to be that person? I mean, that is a sloth. All right, we got the land. Here it comes. Everybody come on now. Maybe they'll just take it. We go to 11. That's still a fine life total, right? Ain't so bad. Yep. All right. We're sitting pretty. Alright, Judy doing some work already for us this game. We get Footlight next turn, but maybe Experimental Frenzy. What I'd like is Footlight and like another one or two drop, and then the next turn we get the land and play Frenzy. Alright, they're coming in. The blocks, you go ahead and pump that knight, it's fine. Maybe they won't pump the knight. They'll just hit us and then play something to block. And they did pump the knight. Okay. 13-12. Yay, it's pretty much exactly what I wanted. Alright, so Footlight Fiend. Bane Hound. Help us win this life race, too. Bop, 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 bop. Opponent 3. A block will put them at one. And they scoop it up. <laughs> Good game, though, that is a sloth. I, th I feel like you had something. I do. All right, we're up against Nas for this one. Good-looking opening hand. Things could be a little bit better. We have not gotten to Experimental Frenzy in these games just yet. We didn't have to <laughs> in the last game. We didn't have to draw our fourth land. We start on Grazer. Always a good sign. Drops a Woodland Cemetery. Okay. All right, so... I guess this turn it's probably just Dire Moon. Pay the two life. Yeah. Next turn we can Celebrant and then Midnight Reaper. Curve pretty well here. Fourth land for the Experimental Frenzy. That's always good. I'm gonna cast down the celebrant. I can't say I blame you. Pop you for a damage. 
Get in on attacks. I know we're going to get blocked, but we gained life, so whatever. Wow, we... Okay, I figured you'd get rid of your grazer. Usually these decks don't have anything to do with their grazer after they play it. <laughs> and they play the extra land, so... I just kind of assumed, but alright. Cool beans. Summit. Hmm. Midnight Reaper. Get in. Let's see what happens on this turn. They're going to play the Nyssa. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. I will protect the virtue of this world. The Here comes the land. All right. Nyssa probably going to end our game at some point. What we're going to do here is swamp. Gutter Bones, Bane Hound, it's a lot of drawn cards I'm just letting go to waste, but it's kind of okay, I've got Frenzy in my hand, yeah, let's do it, let's lose this Reaper to this land, probably, maybe the yellow just block of the Grazer, there you go. This turn they can cast whatever they want. Let's see. Two, four, five, six, seven mana. The land they'll have up to nine. Oh, finality. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful play. <laughs> Put them on the land. Oh, yeah, yeah. Draw a bunch of cards. Go down to, what, 14 this turn or something like that? Got a lot of options next turn. It kind of sucks that we're not going to play the Frenzy. <laughs> I, was, I was really hoping for it. An Evolving Wilds. And they said go. Hmm? Oh, I'll get it in a moment. Sorry. Had somebody calling me. Nobody ever calls me. Alright, four mana this turn. Five. Let's Judith, Vampire, and Knight. Can we do that? Yeah, we should be able to do that. Well, hold on here. Let's Judith... Tapped all my black sources. I hate the auto tapper so much. All right, we'll pay the two, I guess. And then, man, I guess I've got like nothing but black sources, so <laughs> I guess it didn't really have a chance, a choice. Vampire of the Dire Moon, and that actually sets us up pretty nicely. We're never gonna kill this Nissa though. Like that's gonna that's gonna be the big issue this game. Is just controlling this Nissa. But they do have a lot of thinking to do, it would appear. Alright, Liliana. That <laughs> wasn't so hard. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll sacrifice everything to Lily, that's fine. Hmm. Sacrifice the two creatures. One to Lily. Why not? One to Nyssa. Oh, they have four mana right now. Yeah, <laughs> Elvish Rejuvenator. They're out of cards in their hand. And that can't be anything but good news. Ugh, Karn's Bastion. 
Woof. Alright, so... Slazotep Reaver. Experimental Frenzy. See what we can do from that position. Opponent has eight, nine, ten mana when they untap a forest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, really, with the Karn's Bastion. All right, getting in. Let's block with a, a mass token. And a Bastion. Lane gets counter too, yep. Still have six mana open here. Yet. Ooh, a Cavalier of Thorns. Woof. Alright. Oofta. Alright, so we can Bane Hound. We can Blood Crypt. Tapped. It's another land. I knew it was going to be two. Boo. Experimental Frenzy. Boo. Alright. Let's uh, get busy losing this game. Here we go. <laughs> it's been a good one, though. I wonder if they ultimate their Nissa this turn. <laughs> I mean, they could. It probably would not be the right play, but let's see if they do. <laughs> Seen Stranger Things. The show. It's okay. Why didn't they get in with Cavalier? Hmm. Being really safe over there. They did. <laughs> I mean, they proliferated first. Alright. Ooh, alright. Come all the lands. And it's our turn. Alright, so we got a Footlight Fiend. Corpse Knight. That's good news. Gutter Bones. Land. Inner's tapped. And a Midnight Reaper. Okay. Still not, uh, <laughs> not the best position in the world, and this Midnight Reaper is fighting this experimental frenzy pretty hard right now. Proliferate. It's like next turn, if I get rid of frenzy, we'll still have five mana. We'll have to take two to have five mana, but well, so we can do it. Alright, so. We'll block, and we'll block. Take 11, <laughs> or something like that. Yep. Uh, let's see. To you. I'm trying to do as much damage to them as I possibly can right now. Oh, man. Okay. Interesting, isn't it? Alright, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 if I take 2 damage. That's the mana we have, <laughs> in case you're wondering what I'm counting. So 4, 5 left again, like we said. So this will be down to 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We can maybe do this. Let's Footlight Fiend. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I'm 
try for Judith. A cliff top retreat. Vampire. Okay, so we have five men left after we do that. Interesting. Vampire, come on, deck. Experimental Frenzy is on top. Of course, we only have three mana left, but that's perfect, because now we can pump a Knight of the Ebon Legion. Or we can play this Gutter Bones, but uh, no, we can't. We can just get it back. It's not good enough. Yeah, all right. Next. Trophy the Judith. Ugh. Really could have used that, Judith. <laughs> Obviously. I guess we'll Footlight Fiend, too. And cliff Top on top. Alright. Well. You're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> there's definitely a chance. <laughs> oh, we can do this, y'all. We can do this. Proliferate. Here comes Karn's Bastion. Everybody getting in. Except for Rejuvenator. Why not? Okay, so block. 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 We're taking three. All right, let's go. You and you. Okay, everybody. Let's see here. Banehound on Ooh, Banehound on top. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 6 if we were to get rid of Experimental Frenzy, five if we cast this Bane Hound, three after the Corpse Knight, two after the Celebrant, one after the Vampire. If we cast Corpse Knight, all we have to do... Okay, so yeah, let's let's go ahead and cast Bane Hound, get two on them. Maybe we can get another creature and just finish the game, you know? But if we don't, then that's fine. We can just get rid of... Okay, they're going to cast down a Corpse Knight, but that's actually fine. That was the last card in their hand. We still got the trigger off the Corpse Knight. Sacred Foundry. Inner's tapped. Okay, so now we have got to blow up Experimental Frenzy. Corpse Knight. And they scoop. We did it, everybody. We won that game. Did not look like it was going to happen, but we somehow pulled it off. Thank you, Experimental Frenzy. Holy crap. <laughs> All right, we're up against Rowls for this one, or maybe it's Row WS. I don't know. If you want your name pronounced right, it should uh, look right. But anyway, here's Godless Shrine. Pay two life. We're going to start on Gutter Bones here. We have got a gang of black one drops in our hand. But, uh, no lands outside of this, this swamp here and this godless shrine. Oh, please give us a red source next turn. How great would that be? Here's a vampire and a knight. Well, people probably get on to me for, um, playing stuff first main phase, but I don't care when it's turn two and they have a tapped land. So, just keep that in mind. 
Kite sail freebooter. Bye, experimental frenzy. This K didn't need you. All I need is a slice of tep reaver. All right, let's come in, come in. Oh, we're gonna get our frenzy back. I guess that's fine. I'm actually gonna reaver this turn in case we get Judith next turn. Slightly higher damage output. We'll do that. Alright, they're gonna chart a course. Is this a reanimator deck? I wonder. What the heck was that? Oh, it's that kind of party. Okay. All right. If I'd have known it was that kind of party, I'd have something something mashed potatoes. All right. So, knight. Bane hound. And for God's sake, don't ritual of soot next turn. <laughs> don't ritual of soot till we get this Judith. Will you do us that favor, opponent? That would be so nice of you. They could cry out the Carnarium right this second and just murder us. <laughs> I guess we keep our knights. That's good. All right, gleaming overseer, so it's sort of a mass thing, I guess. All right, we get the Judith, and that's all she wrote. I would imagine. <laughs> See, yeah, there's the scoop. There's the scoop, Rowawas. Good job. <laughs> 